All right. Part of uh, the absurdity of this is what uh, excites me. I just wish I had a bigger garage so I could have a bunch of these. Uh, but, uh, you know, we have tons of stuff in our store. This drives me crazy where we're using stock images. And so one of the things I wanted to do was to continue to bring the product here uh, and then I'll sell it at a deep discount, maybe lose a few bucks. So that way I can make the video, take the photos, and you know, and have, have our images on our website. Uh, but this is, the, um, this is the car capsule. This is their new version. It's called the CF1. It's not super new. It's been around, out for about a year or so. Uh, but this is the 18-foot uh, version of their carbon fiber look. They call it 18-inch carbon fiber showcase. Sorry, 18 foot carbon fiber showcase. Uh, and so when you order one of these puppies, it comes, this is 147 pounds, and it comes with another box with all the other stuff uh, in it. Uh, the, the, uh, I'll show you all that, the pump and the fan and all those things. But uh, I wanna set this thing up here. Let me push the M3 back a little bit here, and then we'll pull in the M3 and take some photos and show you how it works. Again, I would love to keep one in here, but it's just not big enough. I just don't have a big enough garage in my life to have a showcase that's uh, useful. Uh, if you've been following the channel, following me for a long time, uh, at my house, what, three houses ago, I had a showcase after the rats ate my uh, wiring of my uh, 901.1 GT3, and I had this showcase uh, of you know, just not as pretty of a version of this outside uh, that uh, was in my pole barn. It actually held up really well. I washed it, I did like a full cleaning on it like once a year, uh, and I think it lasted three years or so and I sold it to somebody, so it, um, it did pretty well. Uh, but this is an indoor thing. This is for the people who have a giant garage uh, or you have a special situation. Um, the nice thing about this, this is a drive-in type. And we'll, we'll show you, I might as well shut up about it and I'll show you how this thing works. But this is how it arrives. I'm gonna post it on Instagram after we get our photos and stuff and I'll sell this thing. Uh, but this is 3,095 bucks. You wanna be really careful with this uh, when you're opening uh, because this is a plastic plastic bubble that you don't want to cut with your with your knife so if you're nervous about that you might want to use some scissors instead but this is how it's shipped it's just this big lump that comes to you that weighs a ton comes to you via UPS or FedEx and um, will show up at your door now I've made videos, you can go, maybe we'll put a link in the description here to some of the other videos we've made, but like I had an outdoor one, I've made some videos on the big outdoor version. The outdoor is really cool. Not transparent, you can't see through it, but the outdoor one is snow rated and, you know, and rain rated and all that stuff, sun UV rated. Um, even though this is a pretty controlled, pretty clean environment, um, you know, if you had, you like the garage, John's garage in Atlanta, is it makes sense to do some of these in there for some of those cars that are fancy. You, uh, you do some of these and you um, avoid dust, especially if your car sits a lot. And so I've actually set these things up. If you remember, I had like rat control, I had like little, you know, I put like bars of soap in the corners and all kinds of stuff. I had those like little tone generator things that supposedly keep rodents out. And, uh, and then I put some lights underneath it. Now, this one has some lights integrated in it, so I'm interested to see what that looks like. Uh, but I I'd, I'd saw one of these at uh, SEMA a couple years ago. I'm like, oh man, I need, to, I need to get one of these to try out. Let's see here. That's the best way to do this sucker. It weighs a ton. 147 pounds. I'm going to show you a couple of tips that the guys from Car Capsule showed me on how to work the zipper. I had actually, for at least three years I was always struggling with the zipper because I wasn't doing it right like I was afraid to put too much pressure on it and mess it up all right so we're going to refer back to this they send you a couple of patches in here so then you have a patch kit and then instructions which we don't need instructions we're not babies we can figure this out all right so this just rolls out nice and neatly so. 
I'm not exploding the container like I normally do. You know, before we unroll this, ravel this, let's look at what's in the box. Oh Lord. <laughs> Come on guys. They should just save themselves the 10 bucks and not do this. Like who's gonna wear this? Are you gonna wear this hat? Come on guys, get out of here. All right, so I'm pretty sure they didn't put anything special in here for me. I think this is the way it comes. So they now have the IntelliCharger. So this is a charger or a maintainer and a um, your 12 volt supply for your battery. So this is the charcoal style filter for for the vent for the uh, for the um, the fan. Because the way this thing, oh boy, got me a lanyard. Can wear this around, and I got a towel. What are you gonna do with this? You have one towel to wipe your car down? The heck? Come on, we, we can, can avoid this. All right, so this is our fan V3 power set. So this is must be the fan panel. So this is basically a computer fan. A summon, so it's just a you know Chinese computer fan that they integrated or bolted into this nice little Velcro thing. That's cool. They put a little Velcro thing on here to hold the pigtail, which is a, a, a new thing that they didn't do before on my older one. And here's our here's our power supply. Power brick here. I don't think I'm gonna be sending this to Europe, but I don't know why they put the European one on here? So let's swap this over. Push the button. Get this guy here. And so we got that. So this here is our. They have some LEDs. Let's see how this is gonna be. This is what I was wondering if this is going to be good enough like you know if i was going to spend thirty-three thousand bucks on this thing you know like mine i'd modified it and set it up with better stuff so we've got some led stuff we've got to put together this light strip let's get into this once we get it set up so i'm going to set this aside so this is our inflator deflator all right and what i'll have to do I'll probably have to leave it in here for a few days, let the wrinkles work themselves out. I found that the showcases don't have as much wrinkling as, um, as the regular bubbles do. I don't care who I sell this to, you're not getting this, I'm throwing this stuff away. I would guess that dorky Camaro you know, like classic car dorks would probably love that. So, oh, microfiber towel, sweet. No, you should throw that away immediately. Don't be stupid. People don't want free stuff. You think you want it, but you don't really want it. Anything free is generally garbage. And this is the 18 foot version. They make this in bigger versions too. Let's see if I can do this with some semblance of organization. You know what, I wanna look at what's the price difference between this one and the other. We'll look at that before we're done here. You can always go look at it, but I'm interested for me. So, as long as you're not a sissy, this is a one-man job, unless you're a little baby man. Go get your wife to help you out, I guess. She can do it. So you could easily do this yourself. I just like the look of this. I wouldn't call it, I don't know if I would call it carbon fiber, but that, kind of weave look, just looks clean, looks really nice.
And I love, I love the smell of a fresh bounce house. Okay, so 2,700 versus 3,100, so 400 bucks for this version. Now, this one comes with the LED kit and then this look. That's what I wanted to answer. Is this worth 400 bucks more over the regular 18 signature version? Gosh, it looks really nice though. though. All right, so here's one of our ports. We'll put the fan in after we get it blown up. So, can you see this? It has a little spring-loaded little release mechanism here. And generally what you're gonna do, the way this thing works, which is really cool, is that the pump has a little, uh, little pressurized, little pressure switch on it. So when it drops below a certain PSI, then it just cycles for a minute or so pumps it back up. So even if you did have a little hole in it or something like that and you just didn't want to mess with it, uh, the thing's not going to collapse. Um, the, the, the pump will just run more often. Right here. By the way, if you're wondering, this is my new lev rack. This thing is freaking awesome. It's like seven, seven five hundred bucks or something for this giant setup. It's like half the price of the cabinets that I had here and stores like 40% more. Plus then I have the storage up above. It's awesome. Okay, so take this, pick the right side. So this is the deflate side. This is the inflate side. And here, boom. This is your little pressure tube that goes right here. This is what senses pressure. And this thing is a pretty nice design where it snaps in and stays in. Twist in place. It's a little loud, but... And we just let it do its thing. I think this is cool. Part of my life's goal is to have like 10 of these things in like a giant garage. Just lined up at like an angle that I can pull in. I'll show you, if you haven't seen this before, it's like a little garage inside of a garage, super cool. You really, you could help it, but you really don't need to. It'll just pop up on its own. I love this kind of stuff. I love that there's companies out there that will chase this kind of thing. And they haven't just been stagnant. They've continued to improve and try to make a better product. <laughs> That's so awesome. You're not done yet, buddy. Keep it going. Boom. Boom. Isn't that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, I love it. Now, I don't know that I love the kind of cheesiness of the lines, but I think the lines make sense in helping you, you know, straighten it out. You know, making sure that you have it in the correct position. So, they continue to improve the zipper design. But when you're, we'll, we'll talk about the zippers in a minute, but when you're operating them, you want to make sure that you're applying pressure to the zipper. And you just want to kick it, kick it straight. Okay. That, I'm telling you, there's nothing better than that smell. Oh, I love it. I could live in that, that sort of synthetic, that off-gassing of plastic. But, I'll, you know, I'm 6'2", you'll get, I'm telling you, this will happen to you several times you're going to get in the car and you almost impale yourself because, you know, now, unless you're you know, a little bit shorter, um, there's a good chance that that happens to you. All right, so let's get our fan going. So the concept here is that you keep dust off the car, um, but 
it's going to cycle air through. Uh, and so a lot of people would have that question about well, what about stagnant air? You know, what about the mold and things like that? This is actually better than being in an open garage. Um, the fans will cycle and move air through the system through the natural bleed off of the of the zippers and then the computer fan that you'll just keep running all year long all the time so see there's an there's an interior port uh, and so what what I'll probably do is just set it up to where uh, so when you do the initial fill you're going to you know use the unit on the outside and then we're gonna you know basically set the unit here and you'll tie up all the wires and make it look nice and pretty get yourself a permanent um, you know uh, probably get like a power strip inside of here um, for all the stuff that's gonna go on but um, um, you're gonna put your put your pump out on this side so let's just do that here let me just cycle down a little bit of air so a little bit of bleed off it senses that and kicks on gives it whatever it needs to get back to pressure turns off okay so let's get our computer fan set up actually let's take a look at this thing i never had one of these they came out with this after this is essentially a, a, a trickle charger um, so if you wanted to save this now, I would probably like on mine, um, I had set up my C-Tech, which was, you know, sort of Porsche specific for the AGM battery connecting to fans and your 12 volt battery. So that's what this thing is designed to do. And then it has the little clips here where you could make like a, a hard termination. So, I mean, it's not a bad idea here. Um, this case is rainproof, so you could put this on the outside. Um, and so what you have is, so this is, yeah, this is how we would connect to our terminal. So this would connect like so, and then you would, you know, make a, make a little whip on your battery. So you had it all the time. So you could just pull it, pull it off, which is smart. And then you have uh, AC power and then you can plug your fan directly into this. So maybe not the world's worst idea here to have this thing set up. And then I guess what you could do is get rid of the little brick here. So let's just, let's just set this up. Let's not be stingy with my time here. So let's go put this thing in place. And you have your little storage pocket for your power cords and stuff like that. And so what you want to do is take this carbon filter and put it in between the inner and outer. So we're going to tuck it out here like this. It's probably easier to do from the back side than it is from inside here. But I'm going to try to get this in here if I can. So this is key to make sure you're not sucking in dirt and debris and things like that. And then this is Velcro and that's Velcro. And so just line it up, push it in place. So right here is a um, is a cut cutout for your power cord, uh, and so what you could do is you know what I would do is get get yourself a nice extension cord and run it through there, and since I had mine outside, I had it all duct taped up. So this is where these are our prolock cords. We sell them in black. You're probably going to get a black one, black and blue, but I would get yourself a. Uh, Get yourself several of these, they're awesome to have. We have these in the store. So you can punch it through the hole, like so. It's tight to get your end through, but once you do, you're good. So if you're gonna make this a permanent setup, you're gonna wanna run the power cord through the back side you're gonna to wanna to put this inside in place. Like so, and then we'll deal with the LED lights here in a minute. You'll probably wanna cut this tube length down and get it all you know, permanent. You could keep it on the ground, but I always kept it like this, up top here like so. So you can hear our computer fan running. 
So it does make some noise. It's probably, I don't know, 50 dB, something like that, mid 50s. So this does come with these, and then you have your lighter adapter. You know, if it like, if you have a garage where, you know, rodents are a potential, I mean, having light is one way to keep them out, you know, keep them away. So this is just a regular LED strip. So I might actually consult the instructions here. I think this is the, uh, this is the patch kit instructions. They do recommend that you leave your windows halfway down because um, it will cycle air through the car. I've never really done that. And it says don't use another, uh, you don't want to use another car cover underneath because that would be a moisture trap. You want air to be allowed to circulate through. Here's our box. Here's our remote control comes with. Our LED control box. We have a power brick. Power brick goes here. Our distribution, you have your extension cable. Okay, so this cable goes here. So there's our system. Our system goes like this. So we would have a bit more going on here that you could put somewhere in here. Let's just kind of sit it here for now, see how it goes. I've never done these lights before. Okay, so then this, there is Velcro on the back side here. And then you have like a little LED strip. So let's see. Okay, so here's your Velcro. Well, first thing that'd be better served is pulling all of my power cord out. And so to have my extension cord inside the unit doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll clean this up for the photos, but for now, for the video, I just want to get this thing set up because I want to see how this looks. We're going to run it through the loop. Now, I was watching Phil, owner of Showcase, watching his video, and he doesn't run it through all of them. If, if, this, if I was going to keep this permanently, I would run it through every single one of these loops, but for our purposes here in this little temporary setup, we're going to do it. A little simpler. Do it this way. I mainly want to assess if this is a good system, if this is worth it. Oh, I guess you probably have to plug in both sides of it. Let's find out. All right, so this is gonna start right here. And then there's Velcro. There we go. Just the green wire wasn't, it was falling, was out. Got white. Oh boy. What is this freaking Christmas? I just want light. Yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, I'm thinking no. Dab flash, fade.
Shoot, how do I turn this off? White, blue. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry, bros. That's as bright as they get. You can dim them down a little bit. Well, let's just set them up. Just finish the job here. No, 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 no. This is why I fall on the sword for you people. I'll just save you 300 bucks. I'm glad I didn't take the time to run all those wires through there. Yeah, you don't, you don't want this. Yeah, I mean, LED light strips are just not, not good quality LEDs, and so you're getting really poor light pointed up at the sky, which I'm just not, not into here. But I wanted to see, is this, see, I think the way to go in a car capsule is to get like a Cree linear fixture. Like if we got like an eight foot fixture and you put it, actually I would do two eight foot fixtures depending on how low your car is. <clears throat> and I would just set them on the ground and run them underneath. That's the light that you're looking for. Like this kind of LED rope lighting is what you do when you're like a uh, a uh, 19 year old YouTuber building your desk set up with a bunch of garbage from Ikea. Not Ferrari guy who has a uh, 4,800 square foot garage that has, you know, four car capsules in it for his speciality co collection. Not this, is, or this is for the, uh, the Corvair guy who has a, you know, a Ford Cortina or something that uh, doesn't know that he's a douchebag. You don't, you know, you don't, you don't want this. But I just wanted to know. You know, dudes are inherently tacky. It's just what, it's just, it's part of our, our DNA. We don't really have a choice. It's just built into us. And so we have a tackiness to us that you have to fight. My tacky gene is I want to put stickers on everything. Like I get stickers for cool stuff. And I just want to, I just want to put stickers on like, like when Michelle met me, my dresser, I had a bunch of stickers on it. So the cool part about this is you just pull right in. Now, most sedans, you know, you can do, you could do the 16 footer. The 18 footer just gives you a little extra leeway. If you, or most coupes, I should say. And even, you know, even, even a lot of sedans. But if you have a, you know, if you have an M5 or something, or, you know, M5 size sedan, you'll want the 18 footer. I think the 18 footer is the best size, but I was always having problems with my zipper on these. A little bit lean in here. It kind of breaks in a little bit and it'll get it'll straighten out. Same thing with all these wrinkles. You don't have to worry about anything. In about a week, all these wrinkles will go away. And so your natural tendency on a zipper is to baby it. But what you want to do is pull out. Especially when you get down to the, the curve. So I'm pulling toward me, and that's how you use the zipper on this. And if you do that, you'll never have a problem. And what you'll see, once I get this closed, the fan will pressurize this and push everything out. 
Let's see, I mean, I got enough room to walk around in here. It's pretty cool. Yeah, no, nope, nope, nope. So let's see, let's see what our options are. So the regular showcase, they make a 36 inch, a 22 foot tall, a 20 foot tall for a truck, 18 foot tall, then a 22 foot, 20 foot, 18 foot, I think that's the way to go. The regular 18 foot is 21.95, so it's a th almost a thousand bucks, 900 bucks less for the regular version, which comes with the pump. It comes with um, um, you know the fan and none of the lights or none of the Intelli charge or anything like that. And it's just black, it's just black and clear. So instead of having a little bit of carbon weave to it, it's black. And then. What's the indoor? So they make a short model. That's cool. So if you had a really low car, you didn't really care about that height difference. Then the 16 foot indoor. I mean, the 16 in foot indoor, if I had was tight in space, you could easily fit an M3 in there. If I took two feet off of that, no problem at all. They make a 14 foot indoor, which would be tight, but you could probably swing it. And then the Intelli, the Intelli charger kit is 150 bucks or the LED light kit is, uh, is like 300 bucks. And so I wouldn't do either one of those, you know, if I'm choosing, if you're looking for my recommendation. So then we have the, the CF1, which is this one, the carbon fiber texture. And the carbon fiber texture only comes as a full kit. So there's a 16 foot, 18 foot, and 20 foot. And they come with the, the, emblazoned is what they call it floor so that's the the track lines and the floor the the white line they come with the carbon fiber they come with the LED kit and the Intelli charger so you know 30 30 100 bucks so uh, yeah I think the way to go just do the black showcase 18 footer call it a day if you, if, you, if you were tight on space or you wanted to just keep it more condensed and you weren't pulling in and out all the time, like it is nice to have the extra bulk. You don't have to precisely pull it in. But if you had 14 inches shorter and then two feet shorter, man, I mean, you just, just keep it nice and, you know, keep everything tightened up. And then again, what, what I would do, so I would get the regular showcase for a thousand bucks less I would set up and get a couple of, even if they're just inexpensive uh, LEDs, so just some, some like plug-in LEDs, or you can just wire it up to where you plug in. If you want to do something really fancy, you can, you can do like two of these strips. They might be a little tall to fit under there, but doing the real, you know, real LEDs that were underneath the car, because then it like shines out and, and lights up the car underneath and keeps, you know, if you did have like a barn or something where you could have rodent potential, having the light under the car will help make sure they don't go nest under there uh, because they, they'd be looking for a nice dark space. And then, um, you know, you set yourself up with a, you know, with a power strip, get yourself a NOCO or a C-Tech charger uh, and put a little whip on your car uh, and you'd have a nice, really, really great setup. So in other words, do the same thing I did at my house originally and go back and look at some of those older videos. See how it's pushing out? But yeah, I don't think you want the light kit. I don't think it's worth the, worth the extra for, you know, for what I would use it for anyway. But it does look pretty. So I would urge um, car capsule to give me the option to buy the carbon fiber without the light kit and without the Intelli charger thingy because I would want to use my own fancy charger especially since a lot of my cars now like this has a lithium-ion battery in it, and I don't think that Intelli charger would work for the lithium-ion so anyway that's the car capsule showcase um, this is the carbon fiber version we'll see I gotta post this thing up to sell it but um, if you uh, 
depending on when you're watching this video, hit me up. Um, I'll sell this to you at a significant discount. Uh, I just wanted it here so I could take some photos. We gotta let it sit here for a couple of days, let the wrinkles come out. So anyway, thanks for watching. And um, by the way, we're a car capsule dealer, so it does help that you buy this stuff from me. Um, I get like a, I don't know, it's some, some sort of margin on them um, to buy. Uh, we drop ship them, but it, it is super helpful if you buy it from us. It doesn't cost you anything different than buying it direct from car capsule. Just helps uh, support me a bit. And um, yeah, my suggestion is black car capsule showcase, 16 or 18 foot, either regular height or tall or, uh, or short height, the short version, um, and then build your own little custom setup with lights and things like that if you wanted to. I, I wouldn't do this, this kit. It's just, you know, it's a bit too bedazzled for me and it's not really adding, adding that much. Anyway, stay tuned for more crazy, more stuff coming. Thanks for watching.